Hi, I'm Stuart from Big Game Hunter Sports Ball Shop. And today I'm going to talk to you about cricket balls and the types of cricket balls there are available on the market and what choices you have. Now I've got 14 different cricket balls here uh, of various types, various shapes and, uh, and qualities of, of material. Uh, and I'm going to just go through them and, and explain roughly what each one does. Now, junior cricket, when you first start playing, you're likely to play with a wind ball. This is a, a reader's wind ball, and it's probably the market leader. Uh, it's a nice, soft, squidgy ball, which allows the player to build up their confidence and do lots of skills and catch them without hurting their hands, without getting hurt, don't need all the full padding on. Lots of different versions of the wind ball are available. Um, reader's is obviously the wind ball. Uh, Dukes have a version. Um, Incredible, or Aero Ball as they're now known, have their own version called the Quick Tech. Lucem have a version called the Soft Air Ball. Uh, Kookaburra have their own version. And Slashinger as well called the Air Ball. There's lots of different ones on the, on the market, but they all are very similar and all do the same sort of job. Now the next ball up from the Wind Ball is a ball known as the Incredible. Again, that's a brand name that was first introduced into the UK market by Eastern, an American company, now taken over by Aero, and their ball is now called the Aero ball, but everybody in cricket knows it as the Incredible. It's also a softer ball, but slightly harder than the wind ball, and it has a raised seam and a real stitching, which allows the player to practice grip and learn the art of, of bowling. Uh, again, Every manufacturer has their own version. Uh, Lucem have one, it's called their safety ball. As I say, Aero have one called the Aero ball, which was formerly known as the Incredible. Uh, Readers have one called the Soft ball. No, sorry, the Super ball. Uh, softer ball is Kookaburra. Again, so everybody has one. Again, they all do similar sorts of jobs. When you're looking to buy one of these, uh, look for one with the real stitching. Uh, ideally white because uh, that replicates a, a real ball and one with a solid core or centre like this where it's joined up because they seem to last longer and that's the uh, incredible. There is a ball called the indoor ball. Not many manufacturers do this. This one's a four ounce indoor ball. It's solid plastic, has a built-in stitched seam uh, which is moulded. Uh, but allows again the player to practice their seam position and get their fingers used to the ball used through the winter indoor games and indoor training uh, in positions or situations where uh, a real cricket ball isn't allowed going back to the incredible there's a match weight version of the incredible uh, which is this aero ball match uh, and how it differs from the uh, from the lighter uh, incredible is that this is match weight, as it says, it's match. So it actually replicates the weight of a real cricket ball. It's soft again, it's softer than a real cricket ball. And, but I do recommend you use padding uh, and all the protective gear when using these balls, because it will hurt. And this ball has real stitching as well. And it's just as good as the indoor four ounce ball, but it is the real weight of a cricket ball. Another indoor ball. This one's from Readers, it's called the Team Ball. How it differs from the Wind Ball and the uh, other plus solid plastic indoor ball is it's, it is soft, but it, hasn't done, it doesn't quite have as much give as the Wind Ball. Uh, again, it has the built-in stitch seam, but this one is molded in, not stitched using real stitching, like the Incredible. A good ball. Uh, only available, I believe, in junior size, uh, but it's a good ball for coaching youngsters in the nets or indoor training. It can be used outside as well, but invariably it's used indoors. Then we've got leather cricket balls. This one's a Duke's ball, Duke's Colt. This one's a youth 142 grams, which is four and three quarter ounce. Uh, it's real leather. Uh, this one's a four piece, got real stitching, and these can be used indoors uh, but you need to check with the uh, facility to make sure you, whether you need to use it with a mat or not because um, it may end up marking the hall floor and some proprietors don't like that uh, obviously uh, 
Uh, and the red, this one's a red ball which is used in, in most forms of cricket. But there is a white version available too, which can be used, it tends to be used in uh, T20 games um, at night when the light is fading. Um, and then we have a pink version of that as well. Pink one. And this pink one is again used in poor light situations or uh, actually in T20s during the day now uh, where coloured clothing is involved. Uh, and then we've got an orange version as well, which uh, seems very popular this year. And then we have one other hard cricket ball, which is it's a coaching cricket ball. It's available in red and white, split a white one side, red the other side with a real stitch seam. And this allows um, the bowlers to work on seam positions, you know, uh, and spin bowlers, work out their grips. But when they've bowled the ball, they're then able to see how the ball act, reacts in the air, which way it's spinning, how many revolutions they're getting for a spin bowler, and, you know, which side the ball needs to be uh, to get the ball to swing away or to swing into the batsman. It's a great cage and aid, and it can be used indoors or outdoors. Again, just check whether you need to put a mat down if you're using it in the nets. Now the hard cricket ball I showed you earlier was around 14, 15 pounds uh, retail. But we also have this ball, which is a Kookaburra regulation ball. This is the step down from the test match ball. Uh, this ball retails around 100 pounds. Bearing in mind that you use these for one game, maybe even only one innings, that's a lot of money to be spending on a cricket ball. But the stitching is a lot finer. There are more stitches per square inch and completely handmade. And the materials inside the ball are the highest qualities you can get. And the leather on the outside is premium grade. £100 there. Is it worth it? Not for me to say. Other cricket balls. Well, this is another leather cricket ball. Again, it's an indoor ball. This one is an indoor PUC ball, puck. It's um, real leather, it's got real leather, uh, it's got real uh, linen stitching, uh, but it weighs less, it's lighter, can be used indoors for games or training. They're only available in yellow, it's very popular during the winter. Another ball, bowling machine balls. Obviously you need to practice and so Quite a few manufacturers, this is a Kookaburra bowling machine ball, Gun & More do one, this is our biggest selling bowling machine ball. Uh, Bowler obviously the market leading uh, brand for bowling machines. These balls are suitable for those bowling machines, so great, slightly cheaper as well than the um, original bowler bowling machine ball. These are have a slight give in them, uh, got holes, dimple holes, so they fly through the air and allow the machine to flick the ball out at the uh, desired settings that you've put on the ball. Very good ball, true bounce, and um, we sell thousands of these. Another great coaching ball would be a tennis ball type ball. Uh, this one is the Gun & More first ball. It's got a seam built into the ball, slightly raised to allow the players again to get their seam positions correct and for spinners as well. Uh, quite a few manufacturers have a version of this. I don't have one here, but readers have uh, a version and uh, they've got six different colours in their box. So you can uh, do colour coordinated, color coordinated games with those balls. But great, uh, bounces very similar to a tennis ball, um, probably slightly heavier. Uh, so the bounce isn't quite so tennis ball like uh, to replicate um, the bounce of a, t of, of a cricket ball. Great balls, uh, around £2.50 each as well. So. Uh, you have half a dozen of these in your bag and do quick fire repetition drills with your batsmen and also fielding drills and your, your players aren't going to get sore hands. Two other balls which are designed for uh, bowlers. This one is the Gunner Moore Swing King Classic and it's tennis ball size. Um, it's uh, One half of it is a tennis ball, the other half is, is rubber, it's got uh, a seam on one side of the ball, on the rubber side, which allows you to 
um, get the, the uh, seam position correct again for spring bowlers. And when it goes through the air, you can see the rotation of the ball. This one though is designed for swing bowlers because this side is heavier than this side. So the players are able to get the ball to swing and it's a great training aid to see how they control the ball through the air. It can be used with a bat as well. So you can bowl to batsmen so they can get used to uh, swing bowling. Another ball that bowlers can use to practice swing bowling is the uh, Gunnamore Chevron swing ball. It's available in junior and adult size. And this one, you see that, has lots of perforations within one side of the ball. The other side is like a normal cricket ball. And so this gets quite a bit of resistance on the, from, from the air, which makes the ball swing. And because it feels like a real cricket ball, is is a great training aid uh, indoor or out and again batsmen can use uh, can bat against this ball and so they can get used to being um, batting against swing bowling and finally there's one more ball i have which actually is 15 balls because when we started i said there were 14 this is the 15th ball this one is a duke's special coaching ball cannot be used with a batsman cannot be used uh, to be hit with by with a bat, you're going to break the bat because this ball weighs twice as much as an adult ball. Oh, it's almost twice as much. This is weighs 10 ounces and is really heavy, but it allows the bowler to practice overloading their bowling. And it's a great idea to to bowl maybe six balls with a uh, incredible, six balls with a real cricket ball, and then six balls followed by a heavy ball. Then you go back to the lighter ball, bowl six more balls with that, then back to this ball, six more balls with this, and then you go back to your normal cricket size ball and, and then bowl. And it's about overloading the body uh, and, and learning the skills. It's a great training aid. I've used this uh, at coaching uh, for the last two years. It's brilliant. I hope you found that video useful and it shows you how many cricket balls there are available on the market today. This is just a small batch from some of the balls that we uh, stock, but every single manufacturer has a variety of these balls. There are literally hundreds. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? We'd love to have you on board. If you've got any comments about this video or any suggestions for videos that we can make in the future, or if you have any comments about some of these balls, any questions, uh, please ask below. Until next time.